Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. You know, um, ever since uh, Saturday's fight with Vasil Lomachenko versus uh, Luke Campbell, a lot of people saw that fight and they had different opinions on Lomachenko, his performance, how he looked, um, how you rank him, and etc etc now I gave my honest assessment of the fight my very honest assessment some people didn't like what I had to say some people respected it some people was like fuck you town biz hey fuck you too but nevertheless I watched the fight I had Lomachenko winning the fight some people even said they thought they I'm going to watch it again. I'm going I'm, I'm to watch the fight again. And then maybe I'll rescore the fight. But I had Lomachenko winning that fight seven rounds to five. I really did. I had Lomachenko. But it wasn't no blowout. Lomachenko, if you think Lomachenko won 11 rounds out of that fight... Or, it, or 10 rounds. <laughs> Shit. I don't know what to tell you. And it was even a couple of honest Loma, Lomachenko fans that said, you know what? I even I, One dude who was a Lomachenko fan said, you know what? I'm a diehard Lomachenko fan, but I had it seven rounds to five for Lomachenko. wasn't a blowout. And that's fine, and I appreciate dude's honesty. But I gave my fair assessment of Lomachenko. And like I said, some people respected what I said, some people didn't. Like I said, um, after seeing that fight, Lomachenko wouldn't have had no chance versus Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather would have beat the hell out of Vasily Lomachenko. Would have beat the hell out of him. I know a lot of uh I know a lot of his diehard like aka slash white supremacist fans. You know what I'm saying? Ain't gonna like this video or ain't gonna like what I have to say, but I don't give a damn. Most people with common sense know Lomachenko wouldn't have beat Floyd Mayweather. It's it's fact. And you could say, oh well, Floyd, man, stop it. Floyd fought people with styles like Lomachenko, believe me, Floyd would have beat the hell out of Lomachenko. It's, it's laughable to even think that you could put Lomachenko in the same category with Floyd Mayweather. Like him or not. But let me talk about something else that's, uh, you know, that I, I was thinking about thanks to a sub or a guy that commented on my uh, channel a few days ago. His name was uh, Swim Fan, and he said some very interesting things about Lomachenko, which I've been trying to tell y'all for the past couple of years about Lomachenko. That you starting to see all the signs that Lomachenko is aging, and that that time is ticking. And you almost see Lomachenko having a Roy Jones Jr. type of fight or finish sooner than later. I don't think Lomachenko has a rock solid chin. Lomachenko has been hurt in his last few fights. And like I said before, you just almost see it coming. And the funny part about it is the Lomachenko fans are freaking out because now they're actually worried about Tank Davis. Now all of a sudden it's, oh, oh, well Tank Davis waited, we want to fight now. Why it has to be next year? Cause it's gonna be next year. Look, at the end of the day, you guys were gonna discredit Tank Davis regardless because at the end of the day, we know what you really are. It's anybody but the brother. Like I keep saying, Lomachenko fans would rather he lose to Manny Pacquiao than Tank Davis. It's the same thing with Triple G. 
it, it's, it's, it's damn near identical. Like I told you. Fans would rather see Triple G lose to Canelo than they would have to see him lose to Andre Ward. It would have hurt them. It would have hurt their soul so bad to see him lose to somebody like Andre Ward. You know what I mean by somebody like Andre Ward. But I want to talk about something. Like, check this out. Um, Swim Fan brought up something that nobody seems to talk about. Yes. Vasily Lomachenko is a two-time Olympic gold medalist. Now, I already know what you're thinking ahead of time, so I'm about to cut you off. Yes, Carissa Shields is a two-time Olympic gold medalist, but, however, women's boxing is nowhere near as popular as men's boxing. It's just different. But, Lomachenko could have turned pro at age, what, 21? 21, something like that, but he turned pro, what, at 26, 25, 26, because he decided to go back to the Olympics, and you know, one of the things people brag about is he had 400 amateur fights, and I'm like, why in the hell you need 400 amateur fights? Did Lomachenko take those extra fights to basically, because he, you know, you get to wear body gear and head gear, you know, when you're an amateur. Did Lomachenko decide not to become pro at 21 after his first run at the Olympics because he wanted to preserve his body at least to where he could at least last into at least his early 30s? You have to ask yourself that question. Is that why he took so long to become pro? Because had Lomachenko became pro at age, let's say 21, he probably might would already have two or three losses. He would have had more fights at pro and he would have had more wear and tear on his body. But based off the fact that he turned pro at 25, 26, and then got a, a questionable title shot in his second career fight, which that's that's questionable you have to wonder because Tank Davis turned pro in what 2013 the same year Lomachenko turned pro Tank was like 18 or some shit like that Lomachenko was already in his mid 20s Tank already got like a whole bunch of fights in and Lomachenko cause look I understand um, at the end of the day, you still got on headgear and all that stuff when you fight amateurs, but that, at the same time, you still fighting rounds, you still throwing punches, you still swinging, and, you know, you're not taking the damage that you're taking without, you know, you know, without the headgear. But you still getting the wear and tear. So you just wonder, did Lomachenko say, you know what, I'm gonna do another Olympic run to, so at least when I turn pro, at least my style of fighting will at least last me a little bit longer, at least until my early 30s, maybe not mid-30s, because I think had Lomachenko started fighting at age 21, he might already would be where Amir Khan is. Now, he's a more talented fighter than Amir Khan, but you have to wonder what he had already had like two or three losses. Lomachenko has already shown he can be beat. It is a formula to beat Lomachenko. Now I know a lot of these Lomachenko nut huggers ain't gonna wanna hear this, but this is the honest to God truth. He's already been beat. You can, like I said, you can cry about the low blows and all that type, he got a loss. On paper, he got a loss. There is a formula to beat Lomachenko. And now, a lot of people are looking at Lomachenko getting more and more confident. Devin Haney is even more confident that he can beat Lomachenko. I still think that Lomachenko, if they was to fight within the next three months, Lomachenko edges Devin Haney out. Now, a year and a half down the line, who knows what happens. But a lot of people are starting to see kinks in Lomachenko's armor. They see some things they can exploit. 
Luke Campbell did better than what he got credit for. And like I said before, to the dude that came on my channel saying, hey, town, you're wrong. Campbell is going to surprise people and he's going to do a lot better than what people think he And he did. He, he absolutely did. He hurt Lomachenko a few times in that fight. So like I said before, Lomachenko might see the writing on the wall. And he like, okay, I need to cash out. I need to find me one or two, three big fights where I'll make some money and get the hell out of boxing. And if Lomachenko retires at age 33 or 32, you know, that just totally dismisses that whole notion that he's better than Floyd, Muhammad Ali, and Sugar Ray. Like I said, that's when I say that's insulting, it's insulting, you know, it's insulting to try to do that. You got these guys that put in 20 years of work and Lomachenko only been fighting since two, 2013 to say that he's better than Floyd Mayweather and, and Muhammad Ali and guys like that, uh, you know, Ricardo Lopez. He ain't, look, Lomachenko ain't even better than Juan Manuel Marquez. Cause I'm gonna tell you something else. Uh, at a lower weight class, Juan Manuel Marquez, he knocks Lomachenko out. Juan Manuel Marquez would beat the shit out of Lomachenko. When I say Juan Manuel Marquez would knock Lomachenko's ass out, he would knock him out. And, and that's what I'm saying. Lomachenko talking about Crawford style is bad for him. Juan Manuel Marquez style would have been terrible for Lomachenko. He might would drop uh, one man Will Marquez, but one man Will Marquez will get up and keep fighting. But, and one man Will Marquez got power. And he would land something that would hurt Lomachenko and probably put his lights out. But like I said, it's insulting, like I said, when people do this stuff. And we already know why they try to put Lomachenko ahead of Floyd Mayweather. It's just very disrespectful. And I, I got to say this. I don't give a damn, like I said once again, whether you like Floyd Mayweather or not. If you think Lomachenko is a better fighter than Floyd Mayweather, like I said, you are a liar. You are a liar. You are a racist. You are a coon. You are a moron. You don't know nothing about boxing. You are a flat out liar. And I will tell that to anybody. I'll tell that to Dan Raphael right to his face. I'll tell that to Max Kellerman. I'll tell that to Tim Bradley. I'll tell, I'm for real. You are a liar. If you think Juan Manuel Marquez, or excuse me, if you think Lomachenko is a better fighter than Floyd Mayweather. In just 17 fights with really no noticeable names on his resume. And I really do think it's something to what that dude said that Lomachenko waited an extra four years to turn pro because like I said, he didn't want to go pro at age 21 because of that fighter style. Basically, he would have had more fights and he would have had more wear and tear on his body. But he got to preserve his body for a few more years. So you, you know, like I said, you turn pro at 26, you sort of like, you know, you sort of like you sort of like not at your peak, but you getting better. I told you guys, I said this a couple of years ago, guys that fight like Juan Manuel Marquez do not fare well into their late 30s or their mid 30s. I'm just keep I'm just keeping it one I'm just keeping it 100. You saw this, uh, you saw this with Amir Khan. Amir Khan, when he was younger, he was lightning quick. He had great hand speed, but he didn't have no chin. Same thing with Roy Jones Jr. Like I said, Roy Jones Jr., like I said, was a, a phenomenal. But as Roy Jones Jr. got older and then kept going up and down in weight, 
you started to see him break down the wear and tear from him going all the way up to heavyweight then trying to go back down to light heavyweight cruiserweight then you know what i'm saying he just it just was a lot on him and then you seen as he got into his 30s and then his 40s he wasn't who he was he was like a shell of himself because he he kept going up and weight. roy jones jr is like um Roy Jones Jr. about the same height as me, like 5'11". You know, I just, because I'm 5'11", and, you know, Roy Jones Jr. is, like, about my height, maybe, you know what I'm saying? And, as I said before, Roy should have got out the game, like, I think after the, the, the Glenn Johnson fight. I think he should have just stopped, but he continued to fight. And you've seen his, you know, his legacy kind of went down a little bit because I'm going to tell you right now, had Roy, you know what I'm saying? Roy was, I, I, I'm going to tell you, Roy could have easily been a top 10 greatest of all time. You know, had he not like been brutally knocked out by Tarver and, and, and Glenn Johnson. But Roy Steele is like an all-time great. Yeah, he got stopped a couple of times, but like I said, when Roy was in his early 20s, from 21 to like 29, shit, you couldn't touch Roy. For real. But getting back to uh, Vasily Lomachenko, this got to be said about him. And like I said, it ain't no knock on him, and I'm not putting him down. I'm not like, I'm just telling the truth. Like I said, if you Lomachenko fans is, is that sensitive and emotional about him, and you don't want anybody that look like me to say anything about him, then real talk, don't listen to the damn video, man. For real. Just don't listen to the shit. But anyway, this your boy Town Biz. I'm out.